Get it on, get it on. I'm getting really into the process of making the piece opposite of Mars, trying to push my own envelope, and I decide I really need cigarettes to fill the grommeted holes. Thanks, dude. This sounds like still smoking. I have black soot all over my face. I probably look like a crazy homeless person. Got a bunch of stuff and a bunch of holes punched through my image. She's starting to draw over my face and add paint and glitter. It's ridiculous. Hey, okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Good morning, artist. Good morning. Good morning. You have exactly 30 minutes to complete your work, so put on your finishing touches. So the screws go in through here. Yeah, there will be a nine inch yeah. gap. Lovely. I suggest that Miles build a structure that would hold my piece and there would be a connection in the structure and color of that framing element. I wanted it turned the other way. Can we do that? No. No. Okay. We could just hold this. I got it. I am definitely one of the people that are racing with finish. I think that everybody's really nervous about this challenge. We're all exhausted. We really pushed it for this one. Hey, five minutes! Your time is up. So can I ask you all to leave your work as is and follow me to go to the show. I take a step back, look at my piece, and I've never done anything like this. Why in the second to last challenge in this competition would I even think to do this piece? Coming up on Work of Art. Essentially my stomach exploded and I had 24 hours left to live. Can we see your scar? It doesn't look like there was a meeting of the minds. I'm beginning not to trust your vision itself. Talking about art kind of stretches your bullshitting capability. Art in and of itself must transcend that. Cerebralism. My creative identity. The venue, the forum, the space. Voyeuristic tendencies. Explorative. Icon or signifier. Creating a panopticon. To kind of juxtapose. Projected self-image. Superficial elements. Tactility. Planned obsolescence. Moral ambiguity. Ephemeral moment. Tonal variations of the same hue. This is specifically what I'm talking about. Please welcome back your judges, critic Jerry Saltz, Hi. gallery owner Bill Powers, hey guys. Jeannie is away this week curating a show in Europe, and your guest judge for this challenge, art world sensation Ryan McGuinness. Hey guys. I love Ryan McGuinness. I think he is one of the most brilliant artists who seems like he has a ton of fun. I, I adore your blacklight installations. Duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> Your challenge was to work together while exploring opposing themes and tell one cohesive story. One team will win and one artist will be leaving us tonight. Let's open the gallery and see how you did. Awesome. There are some really awesome guests at the gallery show. So what do you think? Are you impressed? I am impressed. And one of them being Terrence Coe, who is a favorite Mine. The idea that Jackie and I had for our installation is really good. It's easily my favorite piece that I've done on the show. Even though I talked Jackie into it, I'm blown away that she had the guts to do it. Well, it's revealing itself more and more. Yeah, yeah, and this almost seems male, and then you go, blam, and it's out there. Yep, yep. I'm actually really proud of my piece. It was probably the single most challenging, vulnerable piece I've ever made. I wasn't crazy about Jacqueline's painting. Just didn't do anything. She said she hated my painting. Uh, fine. Well, they have their intentions. Usually they like touch, touch art. I'm actually <laughs> like I like people touching. But that's it. great. Like, yeah. I mean, it's different. My part of this collaboration is order. 
there's a certain level of craft in my work, and I think that people will really be impressed by actually working a machine. Hold on. Okay, you're retired. This is order? This is order. They kind of both look like chaos a little bit, right? So he did the chaos of, is it a cactus, it's a rock, it's an abstraction. I'm feeling a little better, and the way Nicole's piece is placed in front of mine, it feels good, it feels decent. This is not at all what I would expect from Chaos and Order. I'm guessing hell is the cigarettes put out on your chest? And Mark's is heaven. I feel much more confident. When I see both of our pieces together, I made mine light, airy, and minimalist. I figured heaven would be coming from an inner glow, and that's why I wanted the light to shine out of my scar. And they work well together. Yeah, somebody got their bedazzler out on that one, right? When I see my piece in the gallery, it feels a little bit too soft on his side and a little bit too aggressive on my side, but I'm proud of the piece that I did. Nice to meet you. We have a lot of questions about your work and would like to talk to all of you for the crit. Mark and Peregrine, let's start with your pieces. We both started off with photographs that Mark took of himself. He has a scar in the middle of his body that really scared me when I first saw it. And he said, I'm really at peace with the scar. When I was 18, I had a condition that I was unaware of, and so I wasn't treating it. And essentially, my stomach exploded, and I had 24 hours left to live. Can we see your scar? Sure. Well, this is part of it anyways. So, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's, it's healed so much that, I, again, I don't even think about it. And I've seen people, you know, cringe when they see it. But it, wanting to be a good teammate, I wanted to go along with her idea. I don't want to overlook how important and, and huge a step it really was for you to make autobiographical work and address this scar. On the other hand, this is a very literal and blunt interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. For a theme as big as heaven and hell, I expected more out of this. What I would say, it's neither heaven nor hell, but it's more like limbo. And that could be a, a growing problem for me. Now, do you feel that you both had to compromise in a way? I definitely gave myself to her idea of the subject. Peregrine, you look uncomfortable. Do you have something you want to say? It was hard. He really could have given me more to work with. I didn't want to tell my story, but she did sway me to take two images of myself like this, which um, I kind of had a hard time with. Artists, do you guys have anything to say? Yeah, and this is my problem with your work, is that you play it safe. And the thing that I like about Peregrine's piece is she took her materials and came to your side. And it seems like you just inserted, you just, yeah, yeah, here I am. Artists, no? Okay, thank you, let's move on. All right, Miles and Jacqueline, what was your approach to male and female? We decided to address the aspect of control in our work, so I chose to make a piece about masculine form of losing control, and she chose to make a piece about a feminine aspect of gaining control. What does it reveal about female control? Learning to accept your body and take control of your own desires. So what act are you performing in this painting? It's a sexual act. So you're masturbating? Yeah. I feel like you have some other issues that you're trying to sort out about how you feel about yourself, but then I think this worked great together. This piece is not literal, and that allows me to contemplate what's going on here. Miles, can you elaborate a little bit more on, on your piece that you did? The thing that I really wanted to represent was freezing this kind of moment in time right after this aggressive act of hitting a wall. Have you ever put your hand through a wall? Yeah, I have. I think it's important for us to ask these questions about how autobiographical these works are. So, Miles, do you punch walls? And you say, yes, you have. Jackie, do you masturbate standing up? I have, sure. So it's honest work. Yeah, it's honest. Because they're so big and because there are two of them, it doesn't feel like they're a collaboration. I think maybe it looks like you kind of discuss things and, and superficially tied them together with materials, but it doesn't look like there was a meeting of the minds. I actually like the male and female thing being separate. I actually got off on that, yeah. thinking, yeah, they're in other worlds. We can't get together. <laughs> Thank you, Miles. Thank you, Jacqueline. Let's move on.